habari ya dhuhuri and welcome to this worship service na karibu katika ibada hii Uh, welcome to Cornerstone Faith Assembly. Karibu katika kanisa la Cornerstone Faith Assembly. In this place where grace and love abide. Mahali hapa ambapo upendo na neema zadumu. I want to take this opportunity to welcome also those who are online. Nataka kuchukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha pia wale wako kwenye mtandao. And I would like you to uh, even pick your phone right now. Na ningependa pia uchukue simu yako sasa hivi. And subscribe. Uweze kujisajili. Share. Uweze kushiriki. And like our Facebook page. Na pia uweze kunyoshea kidole page yetu ya Facebook. And uh, for all of us in the sanctuary na sote hapa katika kanisa welcome to the house of god karibuni katika nyumba ya bwana and so this is the opening scripture for today na kwa hivyo haya ndio maandiko ya kufungua ya leo sing praise to the most high you saints of the lord and give thanks to his holy name as for me i will praise you o lord for you have lifted me up i cried out to you and you healed me For his anger is but for a moment his favor is for life weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning cornerstone family our weeping has endured for a night but today i say again this day our joy has come Lord we thank you for this day that you have brought us into your house. Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya siku hii ambayo umetuleta katika nyumba yako. And we have come to rejoice in your presence. Na tumekuja kufurahia katika uwepo wako. God we thank you for your presence in this place. Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya uwepo wako mahali hapa. And as we lift up praise and glory and honor to you. Tunapoinua sifa na utukufu na heshima kwako. May you receive it oh Lord from Bukia your children. Bokea e bwana kutoka kwa watoto wako. Because God you are worth. Kwa sababu bwana wewe unastahili. Because God you are holy. Wewe ni Takatifu. We thank you Lord. Tunakushukuru Bwana. And we bless your name. Na tunabariki jina lako. Let us celebrate God with a powerful shout and praise. Woo! Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You are worthy Jesus. Hallelujah. Unastahili Yesu.
tuangalizie na hii ya polepole si ndio tupumzike kidogo ama tuendelee ku special ministration before we release our children to go to their classes thank you Kelly you munaweza songesha hizo huko nyuma alafu musonge mbele ya mic you want to testify that the lord has done us well tutakushuhudia ya kwamba mungu ametutendea mema and you want to do this in dance na tutakufanya hivi kupitia kwa dance if i tell you people to stand and dance now even you won't be able <laughs> But since we are young people we have uh, declared in the kikuyu song that we are going to jump before the lord before our our bones start complaining and before then i will jump my way all the way to 60 years old Amen. come on celebrate the lord now, now look at your neighbor look at your neighbor say neighbor say neighbor Say neighbor. neighbor it is not my fault 
Jehovah has done me something. If your neighbor is not... Now, now look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. It is not my fault. Jehovah has done me something. If your neighbor is not smiling, go to another neighbor and say, neighbor. Say, neighbor. It is not my fault. Jehovah has done me something more. Come on, someone shout and give the Lord a praise.
Hallelujah, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now with much pleasure. I want to ask our children to stand up on their feet wherever they are. Plus their Sunday school teachers. Just to release them the word of prayer. Let's believe even as pray. My Father, my God, we want to bless your name this afternoon. We give you glory because you are a good God. We want to thank you because of the power you've come with us this day. We thank you, Jehovah God, for these children that have blessed us with Jehovah God. My Father, we know there are blessings from you, Jesus. My Father, even as they go to their classes this particular day, we speak blessing upon their lives. We speak protection upon their lives. We speak healing upon any person who may be sick this afternoon. My father, we say that they are blessed this day. My father, we bless you for their teachers this day. Even as they teach this young one, Jehovah God. My father, give them the knowledge and wisdom of my father, Jehovah God. To give them whatever they deserve, God. Speak to these children before their teachers, my father. We thank for their parents this particular day. And their guardian, any person, my father, my God. Who prepared them before they come here this day. We know, my father, they cannot lead this young ones, my father. They cannot lead this young ones, Jehovah God. Unless you are with them, Jehovah God. We pray, Jehovah, this particular day. That these children shall grow in wisdom, my father. And they shall never depart from your ways. My father shall grow to know your word. And they shall live to impact the world, Jehovah God. They shall be transformed by your word. And not be conformed by the ways of the world. We thank you and we bless your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. of kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's put our hands together for the Lord for such a wonderful day that the Lord has given unto us. Uh, our time is much far spent and we do not want to take a lot more time. We want to get prepared to receive the communion. And so we pray that you prepare your heart. And by this moment you, be, you should be speaking to the Lord. Telling him to search your heart and see if there is anything that can cause regret in your life. That he can wash you by the blood of his precious son, even Jesus Christ. Ask him to search your life. Ask him to forgive you. And make you whole once again. And you're going to be worthy to partake of the communion of the Lord. This is... Um, uh, for every person that believes in Jesus Christ as a personal savior. There is not for members of Cornerstone only. A little bit more than 2,000 years ago, God decided that the blood of the sheep and the goat and the cows and birds could not be able to, to wash the, the sins of a man. 
Mungu aliamua ya kwamba damu ya mnyama haingeweza tena kuosha dhambi za mwanadamu. And so he gave his only begotten son. Na kwa hivyo akamchukua mwanawe wa pekee. His most precious gift that you would have been able to give to you, to mankind. Zawadi nzuri sana ambayo angeweza kumpa mwanadamu. That he should come and die on the cross for us. Ya kwamba aje afe msalabani kwa ajili yetu. So that whoever believes in him ili yote ambaye anamwamini should not perish hata angamia but have eternal life. Lakini atakuwa na maisha ya milele. We thank you Lord for giving us such a, a moment again to live. Tunakushukuru Mungu kwa kutupa fursa nyingine tena ya kuishi. After we had seen baada tulipotenda dhambi and we had fallen uh, short of the glory of na tulikuwa tumepotoka utukufu wa Mungu. And you gave your son. Na ukatupa mwanao. To become a sacrifice for us. Aje awe dhabihu kwa ajili yetu. And today we have already been reconnected and again with you. Leo na sisi tumeunganika tena pamoja nawe. And what a joy we have today. Na ni furaha kubwa siku ya leo. To be called sons and daughters of the most high God. Kuitwa wana wa Mungu aishie juu. Continue to wash us Lord. Endelea kututakasa. Continue to cleanse us. Endelea kutusafisha. Continue to prepare us to meet with you once again. And what a joy it will be when we meet with you and we dine together with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray and trust. Amen. Amen. Um, we will uh, follow the normal procedure tafuata mtindo wetu ule ule You are welcome to come and sanitize Mmekaribishwa kuja kusafisha mikono And then come forward and pick uh, the bread and the and the cup Kisha mje mchukue mkate pamoja na kikombe And then later get back to your sitting area Where you going to wait for the next instruction Utaweza kungojea ni vipi utaelekezwa You are welcome Mmekaribishwa
Bible says. Jesus Christ. When he had met uh, uh, with his disciples over last supper. And after they had eaten and drunk. He took the bread. Break it. And gave it to them saying. Take these and eat. For this is my body. That is going to be broken. For many. Father, we thank you once again because you gave your only begotten son to come and die on the cross for us so the Lord we would be reconnected again with you and so that it could be as we had not seen. And Lord God, you did it for us. And now we have hope of living with you eternally. Days without number. Bless this bread as we take together. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We Amen. Amen. Let's take the bread together. The same way, after they had eaten the broken bread, Jesus Christ gave them a cup and told them to drink of the cup. He said that this is my blood that is going to be shed for many for the remission of sin. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. We are forever grateful, Lord, so, that you gave your son to come and pour his blood for us. And how grateful we are that that blood is always fresh. And it has the same power it had more than 2,000 years ago. We pray that you cause healing in our lives. We pray that you may cause uh, peace in our lives, O oh God. And thank you, Jesus Christ, because you said you will not drink again this cup until we drink together in heaven. And so, Lord, this gives us a lot of joy to know that we'll drink together with you in heaven. Keep us secure and safe until then. In Jesus Christ we pray and trust. Amen. Amen. Let's bring the cup together. As uh, praise and worship him, uh, uh, prepared to give us a number. I request that uh, you bring the cups to the respective areas. And God will bless you. Continue to enjoy the rest part of the service. God bless you. Amen. Let's praise the Lord. Because he gave his only dear son to die on the cross for us so that we could be reconciled back to him. Today is a youthful day. And you, if you are a youth and if you feel youthful, I want you to prepare a shout. We want to shout. Tell somebody it's time to shout. Because this God has been good to us. And we want to lift our voice in praise to him in the name of Jesus. So together, let us give a youthful shout unto the Lord. Yes. Yes. Amen. You know, 
Amen. 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 That was just a warm up. Now we want to do it proper. One that will cause any blockage in the heaven, any evil blanket in the heaven to catch fire and to fall down so that our praises can reach the most high God. If you are ready, one, two, three, let us sound. Oh. Yes! Oh God, we thank you. Yes! We bless your name. Malaboshi, Tarabai, Masenta. Yes, Lord, we bless you, we bless you. Yes, amen, amen. Amen, let's appreciate these young people for the wonderful job that they're doing for God. Serving the Lord in the days of our youth. Amen. Amen, now the time has come that we want to welcome the man of God. We are blessed to have a father. You know, there are many people out there who are crying that God can bring a father their way. But we thank God that he has not only given us a pastor, but in, a, in, in, in him as a pastor, there is also that part of being a father. So Lord, we thank you today. We are just about to welcome the man of God with a song and with a dance. If you are a young person, 35 years and below, please be upstanding and join us here. We are going to welcome our pastor with style. Tunaenda kuleta pastor yetu and our father. Please come, 35 and below. And if you feel youthful and you feel you want to come and join us, you are allowed to. Just do it right now because we are out of time. Amen. We have prepared a song and we are going to bring the man of God with a dance. And we are going to, this is the way we are going to do it. We are going to go as we dance and then we bring the man of God. Even as the podium is being brought. Thank you Jesus. Saladeva Shon Salabuzi. standing ovation today because God has been good. He is a testimony of the faithfulness of our God. Our bishop is a testimony 
that our God heals, that our God can walk through you, through with you, even in the midst of fire, and the fire will not burn you. He can be with you even in that spread of sickness, and that sickness will not kill you. He can be with you. It doesn't matter what time dictates, whatever circumstances and situation, our God will walk through with you, and he will make sure that he gets through with you to the other side. Let's praise God. He has been good. Amen. Welcome, man of God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord with another powerful celebration hand. Let's try to see the interpreter again. Let's hear you. Let's praise the Lord again. Amen. It's been a great day so far. It's been a very blessed day so far. And I pray the days ahead be better than today. As we come together to worship the Lord over and over again here and in our channels. Thank you, young people. Allow me to read the scriptures so you can sit down after I read the scriptures. I like to read the book of Acts of Apostles, uh, chapter number 27, uh, and I like to read uh, verse 35. Chapter 27, Mlango, Washina Saba, verse 35. Mustari wa Thelathini Natano. And I'll read and you interpret portion by portion, Pastor Amos. Nawakati, Bishop Anasomant, and Elea Kutafsiri. And when he had said these things, Nabade Akusema Mambo Haya, he took bread and gave thanks to God in the presence of them all. Kachukua Mkate, Nabade Akumshukuru Mungu, Akawapatia Wote. And when he had broken it, he began to eat. Verse 36. Then they were all filled with encouragement. And they also took food themselves. You may be seated. I want to encourage us today. Those of you in the sanctuary and those of you watching us online now or in a future watch. There are times you ask God to do it your way. And when your way agrees with the ways of God, God will do it. But there are times when you are way and God's way do not agree. So God will not do it. Because God always does God's way. When I got sick with that thing which was growing under my foot, it grew like a joke. I went home and told Ruth, I feel like I have a thorn in my flesh. And she checked under my foot and said, yeah, there's something in here. And she peeled and peeled and peeled and then she said, there's something little that remains. And we both agreed, well, if it's small, the body will deal with it. And I know my body has done that over and over as I had, had thorns on my feet and other challenges. And so we left it like that. About a year and a half later, I went home. And I told Ruth, I feel like I've stepped on a stone. My foot is hurting. 
So I lifted up my foot. And she removed the socks. And she looked down there. And she saw something protruding from the inside. And she said there is something here. And when we try to touch it to remove. We realize it was a lot harder to remove than we could have guessed. So eventually we began consulting. And we consulted with Jennifer who is here in the house. And she consulted her seniors. And the message was, I will need to have surgery. I don't like surgery. I don't even like doctor's needles. I don't even like tablets, even the sweet ones. I don't even like to imagine that I'm going to see a doctor, even to see. So we believed God. But there is this thing that was in my heart. Have you ever read where the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Have you ever read somewhere like that in the Bible? Have you also ever read, greater things than these shall ye do? Because I go back to my father. Ever read something like that from John? And so I filled myself with courage and confidence. And for many days, I prayed, God, remove this thing. Someday I would fast secretly. And I'm pleading with God to remove it before I even go to see a surgeon. I don't know whether you are like me, but there are those days you really feel like you have faith. Yeah? Is there anyone like that? Like you really feel now this is it. Yes, sometimes I would feel like, yeah. If I meet Mount Kenya, I'll bring it down. If I meet Mount Kilimanjaro, I'll bring it down. I would even raise up Rift Valley to come level. Then I go to the Lord with that faith. And remember I would pour anointing oil on the ground. And put my foot there. And I say in the name of Jesus. Growth melt into nothingness now. Hallelujah. And then I'll come. I put my foot properly. And guess what? The growth will be more solid in there than before, when, uh, than before I began praying. And so, I had to see a surgeon. The title of our discussion today is sometime the way is going through it. Wakati mwingine njia ni kupitia ndani. Hapo tu njia ni kupitia. Ni kupitia. Yes, sometime wakati mwingine the way njia is going through it. Ni kupitia. Going through what? Kupitia ndani ya nini? Like what you are going through right now. Kama kile ambacho unapitia sasa. I know what sasa. you've been telling God. Na jua yale umekuwa ukimwambia Mungu. But you're still not through. Lakini bado hujapita. You haven't received the miracle. Hujapokea muujiza. Sometime the way. Wakati mwingine njia. It's going through it. Ni kupitia ndani. So went for surgery. Wakati wa kupasuaji. And it was removed. Na kile kimelea kikaondolewa. And I saw it, it was a big thing like my finger. Na nikaona kilikuwa kikubwa kama kidole changu. And then we drove home and my journey began. Kisha tukaendesha gari nyumbani na safari yangu ikaanza. Bring me my tools, all of them now. Aya nilete vyombo vyangu vyote sasa. So when I went home, nipofika nyumbani. For the first time in my grown up life. Kwa mara ya kwanza katika utu wangu uzima. 
as far back as my memory can take me. Mimi ninapokumbuka vile kule nyuma nilipokuwa mtoto. I suddenly realized I could not stand on my own. Singaliweza kusimama mimi mwenyewe. I cannot remember. Siwezi kukumbuka. My memory going back in my adult life. Kumbu kumbu yangu ikirudi nyuma katika utuzima wangu. A moment that I could not stand on my own. Wakati ambapo singeweza kusimama mwenyewe. Leta yote, leta yote. Haya leta. So, kwa hivyo is rungu. Aha, fimbo hiyo. It's always in my bedroom. Iko kule kwenye chumba changu cha kulala. Eh. Mtu alete nyoko nyoko. Eh, ukileta fujo tuwaonana. It's always there in the bedroom. Iko kule kwenye chumba cha kulala. In fact, I don't even think I had seen it. Hata sidhani kwamba nilikuwa nimeiona makuu. Until the day I was in the room. Hadi siku ile nilipo kwenye chumba and I could not walk. That's when I saw it laying down there. Basi nikaiona imelala. I I don't even remember why it was in the room. Hata sikumbuki sababu yake kuwa kwenye chumba cha So this became my first support. Na ikawa ndiye ambayo inanisaidia kujitembea. And I would always hope with it. Na nikaweza kutembea nayo. Cuz I couldn't step on the ground. Kwa sababu singaliweza kukanyaga chini. The foot was hurting bad. I had stitches down there. So I was walking like this. And then Ruth would be on my right side. I'm leaning on her. And I'm supporting myself. I struggled with this. Until one day when we decided to come to church. On that Saturday evening. We were climbing the stairs. In our house. Simon was behind me. Simoni alikuwa nyuma yangu. Ruth was in the kitchen. Na Ruth alikuwa kwenye uh, jiko. Finishing up to join us in the bedroom we pray together. Akimalizia malizia ungane nasi kwenye chumba cha kulala. Stephanie was in front of me. Stephanie alikuwa mbele zangu. And halfway the stairs. Na katikati njiani I asked Simon to go back to get me a drink. So I am climbing with Stephanie in front of me. She's carrying my laptop and phones. And she rushed a few steps to put them down in the bedroom. And then she placed them and came back to find me on the stairs still climbing one step at a time. So I'm stepping up. My left hand is holding on the guardrail. My foot is up in the air. So it is this here, and my hand on the rail, I'm jumping one step at a time. Jumping one at a time. On the very last one, the very last one, I get into the landing area. I tripped. This fell. This fell. I was now left hanging on the guardrail and I can't step on the ground with my left foot because it will be injured and because I had not planned on dropping it it caught me by surprise so I'm hanging on the stairs on my way to the ground and I'm holding on to the guardrail when Stephanie heard, uh, heard the, 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 the noise from this wood when it fell, she came running. She jumped on me. So that you may anguka and she fell on me. So I'm here trying to support myself. And the girl is on me shouting with me. She's shouting. That you may anguka. Then Simon and Ruth are jumping steps to get to where I am as rapid as a rocket. So Simon couldn't even hold his breath. I told Ruth, please, I'm good, I'm okay, take care of your son. 
that moment we had just decided let's pray kesha we are going to church the devil will do anything possible to stop you from worshiping god the way you ought to worship how many of you know that's the truth they can be good things and or they can be bad things. Whatever he can use, he does not like you worshiping God the way you ought to worship him. Can I tell you the truth? My toes on the left foot, the foot which had been operated, were injured badly. There was a lot of pain. All night I couldn't sleep at all. Because of that now pain on the toes. But my family and I decided we are going to church. And we came here. And we worshipped God. Please praise the Lord with me for my family. So when I came to church, here was Pastor Mary waiting for me. And others in the office. No, they were not waiting for me. Sorry, I showed up and they were shocked. Then I saw Pastor Mary turn. Ah, Bishop. And I saw like tears were dripping on her face. I thought it were just tears of joy. But she really felt sorry for me. For the kind of cane I was walking with the rungu. <laughs> so she got me this. Which are more stable when you are in that condition. Please appreciate Pastor Mary and uh, my dear uh, Jennifer who organized for the surgery and she kept on following me, even coming home and supporting me in as many ways as possible. Jennifer, are you here? She's over there. Please appreciate Jennifer. And Jennifer was consulted. I don't know how many times by my wife, day or night. Then I was given this to learn to walk with. So when Pastor Mary and Jennifer came to the office with this, they told me, now try to walk. And these girls are tough. Let me tell you, Jennifer, that one over there. And Pastor Mary here. Eh, you see them here. Eh, they are not ordinaries. Walking is like this. Walking is like this. You don't walk like that. Put your foot down a little. When I touch the ground, my left foot is hurting so bad. But Jennifer is looking at me straight in the eye. You are not touching the ground. Pastor Mary is looking at the foot. And say, hi Jafika, hi Jafika. Imefika sasa. They helped me learn how to once again, walk and try to stabilize myself on this. Please give them a good hand if you can. Some of the things we will go through life, God can remove them if he wants. But there are those he chooses not to remove. I gathered as much faith as I could to speed up my healing. I gathered as much reading the info that I could get to speed up my healing. And all my readings pointed towards six weeks to two months. 
Wiki sita six na, weeks. Um, uh, uh, wiki sita, uh, or two months. But my foot. Lakini mguangu. Ilikata. Aha. It said. Ikasema, you are unique. Wewe ni you are not Google uni. statistics. Wewe si you, ile habari na chambua chambua you are not kini research kini. of everybody else. Yes, utapiti wa kila mtu. Okay, heal faster then. Eh, I'm special, haraka. heal faster. How many of you know Nani there are some things you want to happen when you want them to happen and they don't happen that time? So my six months turned out to be, I mean six weeks turned out to be another month and another month and another month until Kwa hivyo wiki zangu zita zikawa ni miezi na miezi na miezi hadi sasa hapa. One of the greatest things I have learned that I was destined to marry only one woman and her name is Ruthu Wapoi. And she's here in the sanctuary. You know, it's amazing how when duty calls you will know people can do things you never imagined. So one day we needed to turn the generator on in our house because sometimes we, uh, we use generator when our solar has not charged properly. We don't have steamer yet. And there were several people visiting that day. So there are knobs in the house and there are switches in the house. And there are also switches on the generator itself that needed to be turned. Those switches switch require men. Same men. Wanaume. Not men of God. Si you know men of God includes women inside. Si wale watu wa ni men, eh, male. Ni wanaume, wa, watu wa kiume. I'm there in bed. I can't get down to where generator is. Generator. And it has to be turned on. Na iweze so I remember the group with Ruth went down to the generator area. Na, na, na kikuni, kikiena, na Ruth and I'm coaching them online. Na Touch that one. Hili. No, no, not the black one. Eh, hiyo Th that silver one. Ile ya silver. And then I saw Ruth do like this. Ah. I don't. And she was not the only one. There was a group there, including two men. A smaller man and a bigger man. So I had to come down for the first time since surgery. Go to the generator area. Turn it on myself. And then climb up. And it was difficult. But after that moment. Yeah. Champion who you root. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, Bingwa. anything that needs to be done, even changing electric bulbs, Ata kubadilisha, uh, bulbs even leza. changing wheels of our cars, Ata la gari yetu. I tell you, the only thing she hasn't fixed is an engine, Nipo. and if due to call, she can fix an engine. Ki Give through the powerful hand, somebody. I have seen this woman come alive in everything that she has had to do for me Nime, and for our family. In those days, I remember I'll be laying in bed and day in and day out and it's so boring to be in bed. Let me tell you, I don't like being in bed. I don't even like to feel sleepy. Me, I want to be awake day in, day out. But here I am, I'll be in bed. And very bored. The children would come and lay there on the bed with me. And would we'll be urging Ruth. Start cooking after, after nine in the night. So to pull a dinner close to eleven, close to midnight, na huko. 
so that they can help me through the night to be awake. And let me tell you, I have a very special family. A God gift by the name Ruth. Another God gift by the name Stephanie. Another God gift by the name Simon. Simon. When I have begun walking little, I'll be holding on Simon as I hope and he will take me places though he's still nine years old. You see, what I'm trying to tell you with all this is value your family. Love, Love that husband. husband. Love that wife. Love those children. And that's not all. Friends, Marafiki. so many who are listening to me now, some could not even wait to be called to come see me. When they, did see, they didn't see me in church or online, they began looking. Some even showed up to our house. Even though there was COVID, they said we will go to Kifukuzo at Fukuzo. Some reached out to me in many, many different ways. And I am indebted to a number of you that reached out in so many different ways. And guess what? I don't even know all that were reaching to me through, uh, for me on, uh, on my behalf to God through prayers. I don't know how many but I know there are multitudes. Keep some good friends with you. Keep some good friends with you. And make your spouse, your wife or your husband, to be your number one friend. Don't just coexist to manufacture children and then raise them and pamper them and release. No, 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 no. Let that person be your closest. And those small people God gives you, draw them close to you. And then the community of friends, draw them close to you. I'm not telling you to bring every Dick and Harry and Tom and whatever, Korogosho, into your heart, but you know the chosen ones of God in your life. You may not need them, but they will need you. And the reason they are in your life is that when they need you, God will use you to create a testimony in them. Are we together so far? You reached out to me. You came to me. You prayed for me. And now I am here. Praising the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Do I have questions in my heart? Why did that have to happen to me? Why didn't God remove it? And I can share testimonies with you. I have seen God perform greater miracles than removing that thing. I don't know why he never removed it miraculously. And I don't want to know. The one thing I want to know, I was down, he saw me through it, and the way through it was to go through it. And now I'm here testifying of the goodness of my God. I'll share this with you that I also prayed that God if I ever hear any person with that thing growing under their foot or wherever allow the pain I went through to cover that other person. I pray for that other person and that other one be healed miraculously. Because even my enemies except the devil I would never want anyone else to go through what I went through.
went through. And one day right here in the office. There was another one, a man who is right here in the sanctuary. Who had similar growth even worse than mine. And I think his were not one, they were several. Diagnosis, surgery. Uh, uh, yes. We prayed in the office and we agreed Lord do something for this man. Let him not go through what I went through. So one day we passed by their home and he said I have a testimony. The thing is gone. The Lord removed it and I am whole. So my pain that I went through, I would pray very hard. None of you goes through it. And that God may take it on me that I've already gone through it on your behalf. So you be healed and whole. Somebody say amen. But then, you know, I had big plans. My daughter had just done from uh, standard, standard 8 exam. My wife can tell you we had plans. We were to go from coast to coast. From Lake Victoria. All the way to Lake Kisumu. Lake, uh, 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 Indian Ocean. We had planned it. So we said, now, she's done, it's time to tour the country. We planned the Kisumu itinerary. We were going to call Omolo and his wife while we are on the way. And others along the way. Then from there we go around. And we were saying we'll visit Almost every nice high school that would like our daughter to attend in the Republic of Kenya. For once, I felt sorry for my wife. When I realized the mission to find our daughter a school was now solely on her. How many of you have ever tried to find the right school and you know how hard it is? Me, those are the things I like. Looking for schools. Looking for buildings. Looking for things. It's my hobby. So I would have gone to 50 schools very gladly, anywhere. COVID-19, do you hear? So we felt hemmed. Locked completely. I can't go. People can't come. We are scared when somebody calls and says, me, I will come anyway. And that was our journey. But not one day in my family did our spirits look down. There was always somebody with an encouragement. Sometimes it's Simon. Times it's Stephanie. At times it's Ruth. At times it's me with a, with a word that will encourage or with a testimony. Not one day was my household everyone looking down. So make sure in your house even when you are going through things, inuka, changamka, be, the, be the stability. And build others so when you are down, they can also rise up. Here at Cornerstone, I have received powerful ministries. On this last Thursday, I was seated right there at lunch time. And Pastor Julia stood here and delivered a powerful teaching that touched my life so deeply that I'm already preparing to preach it somewhere else and somewhere else. And so many of you have ministered in unique ways. Just watching you come and clean the church. Now I know you don't do it for me. You do it for your God. Let's celebrate God together. 
my testimony is a little bit longer but I'm going to cut it short and cut it there and I'll conclude by this I thank God. I thank the Almighty God that God has had mercy on me. So we visit our mom. We visited mom. You know, mom is a little old now. She has a bending walking style. And she is not as swift as she was those days when I was this tall. So I'm following her behind with my clutches. And I'm saying, Jesus. This is an over 80 year old woman. She has a right to walk the way she's walking. But me, I am a youth. I can't be walking like my mother. I have 50 years before I begin walking like her. My 50 years I will not be walking like this with Mikwaju. And guess what? Here I am. Here I am, praising the King of Kings. Time does not allow me to tell you some of my personal resolve and resolutions. But this one thing I want to live with you. In all your situations, catch this now. What you go through, how you go through it, is not dependent on that moment. It's dependent on your history. How you've been building yourself up. Who you have surrounded yourself with. How you have built others around you. If I had been hostile to my wife Ruth, I can tell you, that moment I'm bedridden there she would not have been treating me the way she was treating me and I even resolved I'll be buying her ice cream twice a week ice cream kila week mbili 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 and I even, I even encourage her once in a while to eat pizza from Pizza Hut. Eh, or it's Deponea. Build those around you. Build them. What you make between you and them is what will manifest in good times and in harsh times. How you build your children is what will manifest in harsh times and in good times. Sometime, the only way is going through it. And going through it depends on how you relate with God and the humans that God has given around you. Now I'm in feed. I'm in feed. I'm in feed. I don't have anything that fits me from my earlier life. Zote. I tried to fit on my trouser. It reached on my knees. I And then my doctor kula nyama. Protein begets protein. You need nyama. Now Ruth haonyeshu nyama. Uyu ni carnivorous kweli. Yani the bulls I have eaten, this customer says I'm now. In the past you never see it, but now it's here. The bulls I have eaten, I think in those six months, I've eaten three or four bulls alone. And Dege, uh, Denges, he goats. Those ones have eaten at least 15 alone. Eguruwe. I can't tell you how many guruwe's are here. 
Father, we thank you. Baba, You've just been good. Mwema. Chebet, are you here? Chebet, Chebet. Tell these people what God told you to tell them, then conclude for e us. Appreciate Chebet as she comes to share with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. When I saw I'm Amen. waiting for Kelin to be ready. Niko tayari. Asante. I appreciate Kelin. Ah, uh, I'm trying to open the Bible na, for some reason. To end the Old Testament, na tunafaka kufua New Testament. So I'm going to leave it and just speak. Sindio. So, ah. Uh, I'm just thinking about thanksgiving. And as Bishop is giving the testimony, I'm reminded of the scripture in Revelation that says that they overcame the enemy. By what? I know that you are scholars of the, of the, of the word of God. Blood of the Lamb and what? Word. And the word of their testimony. And I'm just here to encourage us. Probably we are here now and uh, for some reason things are not even working out. And you just sit down and ask God. I have prayed for this over and over again. I have trusted for this over and over again. But it is not happening. But I am reminded of the faithfulness of God this day. That our God is forever faithful. And one of my favorite scripture in the word is uh, Romans 8.28. That all things, excluding nothing, are working together for my good. It is not working together because of Kayleen. It is not working together because of Joki. It is not working together because of you. But I have owned that word. And I say that it is working together for my good. And I join the service to say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You know why? Your road and your staff they comfort me. It goes on to say, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Come on, celebrate the Lord. And we, as we were thinking of uh, the youth service, uh, just seated there in the second service. Uh, I was reminded that uh, this uh, we are coming to give thanks because of what uh, God has done in Bishop's life. And, and in the things that God has done to you personally, that you might not even get the chance to come here and uh, testify. And I'm reminded of the healing of the Jairus daughter. And uh, Along the way, guess what? Or guess what happened? There was a woman with the issue of blood. So Jesus sets out in Luke to go and heal the Jairus daughter. The Bible records in Luke that as he was on his way, the crowd was pressing around him. And then there was a woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. And she said, I am going to press myself. Jesus, I understand you are not in the business of healing me. I understand it is not me you are going to. But because wherever you went, you did good. I am going to press on inside the crowd and touch the hem of your garment. And immediately the woman touched the hem of his garment. She was healed. And today, I, I, Bishop, we honor you. And as God was doing it for him, we were praying for the youth ministry. And that is why we came with this scripture. Isaiah 43, 19. That I am doing a new thing. And I was telling God, as you are doing a new thing in that family, I am like that woman. As you go on, 
I am pressing inside that and you are doing a new thing in my life and in the ministry of the young people. And so I want to encourage you today in the presence of uh, Thanksgiving and the, and, the, and the theme of Thanksgiving. Why is it is so important for us to keep a track record of what God has done? It's because when this door does not open, you can stand before it and say, I know of a God that opened a door back then. And you are not different because my word says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever more. So I want to encourage us. I want to encourage us that even as I finish and uh, ask Minister Tony to come, that even in the darkest of the moments, the scripture that a bishop read in Acts. There is power when you give thanks. There is power when you give thanks. Knowing that Igororia Maodomothe that he is forever God. That he is forever God. And if he has not done it now, he is still able. And if he has not done it how I want it to be done, it is working together for my good. Come on, celebrate the Lord, minister. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better. The celebrate the bed for that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Worshiping God in good times and in bad times. What a powerful exposition. We want to thank you so much. And the young people are standing here today. We have a present that you want to give to our pastor. But even before that, there is a word that they want to speak to him right now. And Bishop, this is to you. The voice of the young people in Cornerstone Faith Assembly. This is what they are saying. That we, the young people, wants you to know that we deeply appreciate you. Thank you so much for all that you do. Your presence and your love for this community is a testament to the glorious love of Christ. The work you have done has truly been a blessing. We are praising God to be so blessed to have you as a shepherd who loves the sheep this much. Thank you very much. It takes a special type of a person to lead a faith community and you are a perfect person for this role. Know that we are grateful for, the, for your continued guidance. We thank you for your endurance and your spiritual leadership. We appreciate you for the tremendous effort and sacrifice and the role you play to help us overcome our struggle in walking in faith. And the level of your wisdom and unwavering faith in Christ is what we have always admired. Thank you for all you do in this church. And one of the very special people who truly care about other people is you, Bishop. We thank you. Aside from being our pastor, you are our counselor. You are our role model. You are our teacher. You are our friend. Thank you for always going above and beyond your pastoral duty to fulfill every one of these roles. We do appreciate you. Truly, we are so grateful for your service and example. God has used your faithfulness to encourage us to grow in our faith. Lastly, we wish to encourage you and the church at large. In the words of our Apostle Paul, in 1 Corinthians 15, 50, verse 58, 
Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Because you know that your work or rather your labor in God is not in vain. We appreciate you all. Come on church, appreciate our pastor. Oh come on, that is for a chief. Appreciate our pastor. At this moment, I will call Minister Ben to present that which we have organized as the young people. As a token of thanks to our God and our pastor. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Tony. Let's appreciate Pastor Tony for the wonderful speech that he has given on the behalf of the young people. Amen. It is always such a blessing to serve the Lord while we are still young. I know that most of us are now yawning and asking when are we going to get some lunch. So we can, you can be sure we are not going to take a lot of time. We thank God. Our Pastor Bishop Kamau is looking nice. Yeah, I like the hair <laughs> and the attire. You left me in the club of clean shaven he heads. <laughs> But we thank God so far. Uh -huh. It has been in the hearts of the young people in this church that we partner with our pastor Bishop Kamau to help build the ministry even in, in, in the work of God. So we want to say this publicly that the far that we have come God has brought us. And it is desire of the young people, the youth department that with the help of God and with the help of our mothers and our fathers and our friends that we come together and as a sign of thanksgiving to God that one of these fine days we can upgrade upgrade this altar. We can upgrade from the curtains and do something better. Do you think the house of God deserves to be modernized? The curtains have served us so well and we thank God for them. But it is time to upgrade. Do you believe it is time for us to upgrade? You know, if your house is looking good, the house of the Lord should look even better. And God will not use angels. God will use you and God will use me. I believe you agree that we can work together and, and do something to upgrade this altar because God has taken us to another level. We are now international. Tell someone that we are now what? We are international. We are not just here in, in, in Congo. We are in East Africa. The entire Africa. We are being watched in America. In Europe. And we want to give the people of God who are worshipping with us even online and even here in the sanctuary a glorious altar in the name of the Lord. Amen. So with the, the permission of our pastor bishop, I believe that together we will work on this and with the help of God, we'll make it. Amen? Amen. Very few minutes to go. I just want to mention this briefly. There's a time that Jacob told his son Esau, bring me some soup so that my soul can bless you. I want to tell the young people that some blessings are tapped into. They are tapped into. They are connected. Yes, you, you connect with that blessing. There are things that are given freely. But, but there are things that spiritual wisdom will show you. That you need to do something. Not to buy that gift or blessing. But to connect to it. That is what 
Jacob was telling Esau. And even the mother knew it. And she did something to short change the blessing to go to Jacob. So today, as the young people's department, we have put something together to bless our bishop. And perhaps you didn't get an opportunity. We want to give you an opportunity to sacrifice something to give our man of God, our spiritual father, some soup. And we know he will be speaking a blessing. May that blessing not, uh, may you not miss that blessing. Connect to the blessing. And to the fathers and the mothers in the house. We want to tell you to take this opportunity. You can do something on the behalf of your young people. That a blessing can come their way as well. And that is apart from or, or, or over and above your normal tithing and offering. We will put the, the, the black basket here. So if you, if you feel like you want to bless Bishop in this youth service, feel free to put it in that basket and we will present it to him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So let's appreciate the man of God and the family, our mom Ruth. You, you can be sure that our mom Ruth has done a wonderful job. If you see our father, Bishop Kamau, you know, she the t-shirt is. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you, mom, for the good job. Amen. Youth leaders, please join me as we present this. Tony, Kelin, Chilbeni, you know yourselves, please come, Oshira. We have a card that we have written some message for you in appreciation of who you are. Amen. Amen. And uh, the soup is inside here, together with something else that will make this entire family look the same and, and so glorious and wonderful. So we also want to present the same together. Amen. 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 Let's appreciate the Lord together. Amen. 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 And we believe you are not going to let us down, young people our mothers, everyone in the house, you feel like you want to tap into the blessing that is connected to, then come and just put something there in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord because he has been good. Amen. 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 Even as we welcome the man of God to take over from here. Karibu Askofu. Well, let's praise the Lord together. Let's praise the Lord together with a powerful applause. Well, uh, as you continue bringing that which you purpose to bless me with, let me ask that uh, you look around you, those in the sanctuary, there are envelopes near you. If you need an extra one, the ushers will be, the ushers will be walking around with envelopes like this. Please put your tithe and your offering inside there as the ushers come all around. Uh, I'd like to ask that uh, you also look at the blue card near you. Please give us the usual information. That is uh, your name and your contact. The date of this service you have attended. And this card will be collecting it momentarily. If you came with children who have gone to children's church, please indicate their names on that card. And please allow me to acknowledge the presence of all of you who have watched us online. We have seen you have connected with us from different parts of the world. Let's praise the Lord for all those who are watching us online. 
mine and remind you that we have services you can come in the sanctuary or watch us online Tuesday through Friday at 12.45 to quarter to 2 Tuesday through Friday. Also on Thursday at 5 o'clock we are continuing with the spiritual wave of prophecy. And Minister Ben will be sharing with us on this coming Thursday at 5 o'clock here in the sanctuary live. Let's continue with that wave. So I'd like also to observe a few more observations. Gendrix, where are you? Are you in the sanctuary? Please stand wherever you are. Oh, you are there now. All right. All right. Are you still alone or you have a Caleb with you here in the sanctuary? Caleb ministers in another church. And so Jendrix will be getting married to a gentleman that will be bringing to you by the name Caleb. And the wedding will be right here on Saturday the 20th of this month. So welcome all. Amen. There's going to be an arts encroaching exhibition here at Cornerstone. And this will be on 3rd, which is a Friday, 3rd of December. And more details will continue coming and will be on various platforms. But for those of you who came with questions, uh, my sister Nancy is here. And uh, her partner Esther, please stand. Or my wife Ruth, you can see them if you'd like to get more details about this. Give them an, appreci an appreciation hand. Oh yes, we also have uh, is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ireri in this service. Ireri, 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 are you here? All right, we did not acknowledge their presence in the earlier service. All right, Mama Duta and Mama Kariz, Mukohapa Nyumbani, Mama Duta Kohapi, stand please. Ma, that is uh, my sister-in-law, sister to uh, Ruth. Do you the dark Ruth? Mama Karis, ako happy. Oh, she's over there. Now that lady standing there, she is the woman solely responsible of raising my wife. So please give her a good hand. She was working for me, but she didn't know. So thank you for being so good and so nice to raise this wonderful woman of God. God bless you. And they also Hallelujah. have their family members here. The members are regular, so I won't bother acknowledging them. Those ones nowhere too. All right. Uh, yes, my mother is in the house. Appreciate my mom with a powerful thunderous applause. Yeah, she's there wearing beautiful blue. Karibu sana. My mom kept on saying, when will I go back to my father's house? When will I ever see myself in the house of God? And finally, let me acknowledge the presence of another dear friend. Maninyare Mwenyewe is in the house today. Amen and Thank you for coming to check on me at home and for your continued prayers and support. Now, I can see there are other ceremonies. When you see queen so beautifully endowed like the way they are, there must be something cooking. And I can see they want to do something special. So what we are going to do, we will bring the service to a closure. And uh, as we bring the service to a closure, we receive the blue card, your tithes and your offerings, and those of you who, who are putting something on this basket here, We'll put it a little bit on the other side.
we have an open space for it. I bless the young people. I receive tithes and offerings. And then we'll allow the queen to con the queens to continue with the next. So can we all stand? I know you have given online. Or oh, you, uh, you have used M-Pesa. Or you have an envelope here. Please lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at these young men and women. Their devotion, their de dedication to you. We pronounce them the head, not the tail. We pronounce them above, never beneath. We pronounce them blessed in the city, blessed in the countryside. We open doors for them in the name of Jesus. We speak favor for schools, favor for jobs, favor for business for them. And we call upon righteousness and holiness without which no man shall see God. Oh, use them mightily in your kingdom. May these become radical change agents for the kingdom of God. And all those who enjoy in their blessing, may this blessing be converted to be theirs as as well. Bless all these tithers and givers. And they are blessed in the city. They are blessed in the countryside. And whatever they do, it must yield a hundred times a hundredfold. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Say amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of our Father forever and ever. Amen. Please pause for a moment. I did not introduce Omolo and Winnie. Ah, let's welcome Omolo and Winnie as well. Now that we have said grace, you can sit and wait for the cake, or you can choose to go away. But 